Hi guys, this is Paige. I want to make this video about how true Christians are warriors. We're at war right now, right? There's a war going on between God and the devil. The forces of good and the forces of evil. It's a spiritual war. It can't be seen with the eye. It says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. We wrestle with the demons, or the devil. The demons are on the devil's side. Daily. I never knew this was happening before I came to God. Most people have no idea this is happening. The spiritual war. There's even some people that know it's happening, but they're still not born again. They're just deceived by Satan. And they don't have true faith in Jesus. They're not born again. Those who are born again are the ones who are God's people. And they fight the devil daily. This is not easy. Christianity is for warriors. You're a warrior if you're a Christian. That's what it is. Christianity is not sitting in a church somewhere and believing in your mind Jesus Christ is real and then living like Satan. That's not what Christianity is. It's what the devil wants you to think it is. But that's not what true Christianity is. True Christianity is difficult, right? It's the narrow way. And if you're God's child, you will fight Satan daily for the rest of your life. And it'll be difficult. But it's so worth it. You see, the way Satan inspires thoughts, right? The demons inspire thoughts in you and in people. He'll use people against you to try to destroy you and hurt you. Then he comes in your mind to try to destroy you and hurt you and try to tempt you, bring you back into sin. What must we do? We must resist him. At the very least, you must resist him when he tempts you to sin unto death. And that glorifies God. That's part of true faith in God. But what is he trying to do? Satan's trying to Influence the thoughts in your mind so that you will use your will to believe him or to obey him. He knows you can't, he can't force you to do things. Satan can't make you do anything. He can only influence you through thoughts and attacks, through people, through temptations that God allows. God allows this to refine you and for his glory, but he can't force you. He wants you to give in in your will, right? You know that video I just made on, um, you know, the, the bed with the blue and, and the pink butterfly and how God speaks. You know, after I put that up, do you know what Satan was telling me? You're crazy. People are going to think you're insane saying this to people. You better take that down. Take all of your videos down. You just, you're crazy. People think you're insane. Just take it down. Take it down. And it's like, no, that's you, Satan. That's not God. You see, since God allows you to be in the warfare, he puts you in it. He wants you to learn how Satan speaks. It's part of becoming a great warrior for him. So you can just ignore him and not give in to him. And not use your will to obey him. Now, even though Christianity is difficult, what it really is, it's so worth it. And through it all, even though we face a lot of tribulation. God wants us to have joy and happiness. You know, God has shown me this a lot, that he wants me to be very happy, very happy. 
He wants all his children to be very happy. Even though we're in war and we're going through attacks. I'm telling you too, around Halloween, this Halloween, all the attacks. We just, I'd come home and, and all of a sudden it's like, God's not real. He's just not real. You better just stop doing this. It's like you're wasting your life. He's not real. I'm almost like, that's the devil. Because <laughs> what's going on around Halloween? A lot of witchcraft. Witches are doing a lot of witchcraft, a lot of spiritual wickedness going around. So sometimes the attacks could be worse. It's Satan. You see, people don't understand how the devil works. A lot of people, I mean, God's people do, okay? A lot of God's people do. But a lot of people have no idea this is happening. Even people who believe Jesus Christ is real, it's not true belief, it's just vain belief. But you know what I mean. They must believe the devil is real, right, too? But I guess they just think he's just off somewhere in the middle of nowhere with like a pitchfork doing nothing. I mean... You see, why do you think there's so many false doctrines out there? Why are there so many? That lead people away from repentance. Tell people you don't have to repent. You don't have to turn from evil. You know. All these false doctrines. Because Satan is real. And he invents these doctrines. To deceive people. People need to wake up. To know he's real. And he's going to try to deceive people. It's just. That's why the truth. Is in the Bible. Of what God expects. But people still, they, they would read parts of the Bible. They still can't see it. They're blinded. They don't love the truth. He's real. And it's like an extreme hatred he has for all God's children. I can imagine it. You know, wherever he is right now in his lair or whatever. He's like, you see that girl over there? That girl online. I want you, I want her gone. Just stop her. Close her mouth to stop her. And then the demons go out on missions to try to stop me. Same for you too, if you're God's child. That's what's happening. He doesn't want me to open my mouth at all. I'm telling you. And he will try to stop you and you're in glorifying God openly. In any way he can. Try to get you back in sin. Try to stop you in your calling. I remember when I made that video about the apple. And how that five pointed star was in the apple. And the number of God. And how he's, you know, uses five, 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 five. Right after that, the devil went insane attacking me. I know there will be people who think I am absolutely crazy. Totally insane. Why do they think that? Because they believe what the devil tells them in their mind. He tells me that too. He tells me I'm crazy too. It's just him lying. Because he doesn't want people to know God's real. And how he speaks and how he moves. Now going back to the joy thing. God Jesus Christ has said this many times in scripture that he wants us to have joy. If you keep my commandments, you shall abide in my love. Even as I have kept my commandments, my father's commandments and abide in his love. These things I have spoken unto you that my joy might remain in you and that your joy might be full. Hitherto have you asked nothing in my name? Ask and you shall receive that your joy may be full. These are just different parts of the Bible where he's saying this. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou gavest me I have kept, and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition. Though the scripture might be fulfilled, and now come I to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. It's biblical. You know, 
there will be times I am so filled with joy. I'm like so much joy in the spirit. It's like it's a fruit of the spirit, right? Joy. I'm so happy. I'm like, I'm like a clam in high water. I'm happy as a little clam. I'd be like, I am so happy right now. Now it's not all the time, but that's the level God wants. He wants you to be that happy over him and have that much joy and peace. But you see, it's a refinement and the war is never going to stop. You'll still be getting temptations. You still have to fight the devil daily. You still will go through tribulation. But he wants you to have joy over him and that you're saved. And that he loves you. Why do I have so much joy at times? It's because God has shown me how he speaks and he would speak to me and show me how special and loved I am. And that's what would give me joy. He wants people to know how he speaks so he can show you how special and loved you are. Jesus Christ is not the Bible, right? He wrote the Bible through humans. But there's more. There's more to him than the Bible. He's still speaking, right? God is so high. He's just so high above it all. Very, very high. And he would show me how high he is. He knows the past. He knows the present. He knows every single thing that's happening right now. And he knows the future. You know how God's children, if we endure until the end, we will go to heaven and be with God forever. He knows all of that too. Just everything. Just everything. Not only does he know everything, it's like he's in everything. I don't want to say he creates everything. There are things people create too. And demons create that are really wicked and stuff. But God, God does create things through people. A lot of things. He's that high. That's what God showed me. You now, after my thorn, the third one. You know, this is kind of like what he did. He's like, Paige, I'm going to show you who I am. Not who people say I am. Not who Pharisee demons say I am. Me, myself, I will show you who I am. Now the Bible shows us who God is, but there's more, right? The Bible doesn't say, oh, God speaks through movies or, you know, things like that. Or that God invented electricity or whatever. There's more, right? That's like the word of wisdom or he gives us wisdom in the spirit and he did he shows me who he is and, and it is not what I thought because his ways are different than ours that's why when I first started showing people how God speaks through movies and music and it's not Christian and all these things some people were just not having it right Because people have been told this by humans or Pharisees who God is, not himself. He's like, I'm going to show you who I am. I'm going to show you my grace and my mercy. And you're going to be happy because of my grace and mercies. Because before the thorn, I was very unhappy. I was very depressed because of what people were doing to me, how demons were using people to try to destroy me. I didn't understand God's mercies and grace. And now I have so much more joy in my life because I understand his mercies, his grace, and he makes me things. He creates them. If you have a thorn or something like that on you, you have to understand, and you're God's child, God put that on you, or he allowed it. 
but he does it for your good. He showed me that. He's like, everything I have done is for your good. That includes the thorns that he placed on me. You see, his way is different. And I see now that it was for my good to refine me and teach me these things. I see it. I understand. But when I had it, I didn't. I didn't understand. I would look at people when I had that thorn the third time. I would look at people I went to school with on Facebook. And I would see them having a family, all these things. And I'd be like, God, how could you have done this to me after I obeyed you? That's what I thought. But you see, you're not like other people. If you're born again, you're not like them. You're really, really special. It's different. It's different with you. It's different with me. And God has rewarded me greatly after that thorn. Greatly rewarded. And I will be greatly rewarded in heaven for everything he does through me and the work he does through me. I didn't think of this stuff myself when I say God creates things for me. He show me he does. I didn't know this. And he does for his other children too. I'm going to show you guys something. You see, when I show people these things, I know there will be people who can't see it. I know that it's hidden but you see god is hidden the things he makes me are hidden when god creates things for his people there there's actually a lot of god's children who do not know this and will never see it it's just how it is this is for different reasons why they won't see it but there will be people who do see it and God has created things, some of the things for all his children. I don't know, something like the Lion King. Remember, he was showing me that song from the Lion King. This was a long time ago. You know, he lives in you. He lives in me. He watches over everything. God made that song, the Lion King. He's like the Lion of Judah. It's kind of more obvious, but still people will not see it. But that was like created for all the people who can see it. Right, But then he'll make things just for you or just for me. And he'll hide it so no one can see it. It's hidden. That's how he does it, right? So when I show it to people, there will be people even still that can't see it. But there will be people who can see it. Because I'm showing it to them. But they would never see it if I didn't show it. Do you see? Because it's just for me. And then he'll put certain things in there that only I would know and stuff and personalize it. If God has never made you anything and you're his child, you can ask him to make it for you. You can ask him to make you a song or a movie or whatever, and then ask him to put it in your face and please him. And he will. I do believe he will. But he creates very highly for me because of everything I've been through. All right. I've been with God a long time. And I've had horrible thorns on me, and I know he did it for good. Now this, I'm just going to show you guys. To the people who can, who can see this, it is amazing. You see, what he's doing through me is he's showing people who he is and what he does, and he's confirming all of it. To get people out of Pharisee doctrines, to show people how he speaks, to glorify himself, and that he's not a Pharisee, you know, things like that. This, this is a scene, okay, from this drama God had shown me. Do you see what's going on here? This girl, who would kind of be representing me, because he made part of the story for me, is going to be whipped, okay? Because I guess this guy thought she did something wrong. And what happens? He goes in front of her and takes the whipping for her. 
and then he's whipped for her. This is symbolic of Jesus Christ taking the whippings before he was crucified. He puts these things in the stories. Some of the stories have this in there. To show me he took beatings for me. Okay. And then, let look, let's look at what's in her hair later. The blue butterfly. And here's the pink one. It's in her hair. And then here's a scene with the blue butterfly with the bow, which God would like combine together. And her hair is braided. Like what I said, he shows me braided hair means grace. And there's pearls in her hair. Pearls. You see this scene where he's being whipped for her? What does it say in the Bible? But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. That's God. He created that. You know, there's a, there's a drama he created for me all about how he died for me at the cross and was whipped for me and how he redeemed me and how I'm a great warrior. Yeah. I know, right? Some people would think, well, it's not Christian, though. It's not, God's not like that. He's like in everything. He, he had to teach me this, who he is. Do people see that? What did I just show you guys in the last video? The blue and pink butterfly. God likes to put that in things. Now people might think, well, maybe that's just a Chinese thing. I've seen other dramas that are not, that doesn't have that in there. And God has made me American things that have the blue and pink butterfly. It's him. Now, when I show this stuff to people, it's really personal for me, but God wants me to show it. But there's a lot of other things God has made me, and I don't show people that because it's very, very special and personal. God wants people to know he's real. That he's up there. I'm telling you, if people could see what God does and how he speaks to me and the things he creates for me, their mouth would be on the floor. They would just be in total awe of him, which is what I am. It's like, I'm going to teach, teach you who I am, and then you're going to teach my children who I am. And I will be glorified. People will see my glory through everything. You know the $5 bill? The $5 bill. Let me show you guys something about this. $5 bill. Know ye therefore that they which are of faith, the same are the children of Abraham. And the scripture foreseeing that God would justify the heathen through faith preached before the gospel unto Abraham, saying, And these shall all nations be blessed. So then they which are, which be of faith, are blessed with faithful Abraham. Who's on the $5 bill? Abraham Lincoln. God was showing me the $5 bill. I was like, what? He's like, Abraham. Because I'm a child of Abraham, or I'm of the seed of Abraham. I mean, I'm a child of God, but you know what I'm saying? says that we're of the seed of Abraham. If ye be Christ, then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Meaning I have, you know, I have true faith because I repent and I have the Holy Spirit. Abraham, God used that. His name, Abraham. What's on the $5 bill? Five, 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 five. What's five? The number of God's grace and mercy. 
five. I was like, what? He's like, you're, you're Abraham. And he put it right near it. A uh, $20 bill. Who's on the $20 bill? Andrew Jackson. What does Jack mean? God is gracious. What's on the $20 bill? Two, 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 two. I mean, it's 20, but still a two. <laughs> right together. You show me it together. That's him. That's how in things he is. The people can't see it. You see, after my thorn, he let me see. I started seeking him after it. And, and because I seeked him on such a high level daily, I started being able to see. And God would show me how he works through things. And it's just, it's a high level. And now I like seek him all day. So I can see very well how he speaks. I'd be like, what? This is awesome. When I say I seek him all day, I don't mean I'm reading the Bible all day long. I seek him through everything. You can seek God through everything. But, you know, you got to learn how he speaks. There's things he won't speak through, like really wicked, horrible, sinful things. But and what does the blue butterfly mean? Have joy over my love for you. What were the verses I was just talking about before? I want my joy to be fulfilled in you. And what does the pink one mean? It means peace right and there's verses on peace how he wants us to have peace peace i leave with you my peace i give unto you not as the world giveth give i unto you let not your heart be troubled neither let it be afraid these things have i spoken unto you then in me you might have peace in the world you shall have tribulation but be of good cheer i have overcome the world biblical it's just symbols it's just how he speaks now with you it might be a different symbol he speaks to me through personalized things that's why you know the way satan speaks through things and his symbols it's always usually like the all-seeing eye or you know things like that his number the sixes or things like that but with God, it's very personalized, right? Like, because he makes me things specifically, it'll be personalized for me. It's very personal with, with each one of his children. But he has made things just for all of them, too, that can see it. Now, the other day, I... <laughs> You see, when I show people this, there will be people who think it's crazy and it's not him. But I, I have to not care what people think. I have to just do what he wants. I'm created for God's glory. I know this. And I have to please him no matter who thinks I'm nuts or what. And I know it's him. And there will be people who see it and they will be in awe of him and think it's cool. Okay, it helps people's faith grow when I show how God speaks. There was, it's like this nail thing. I, and I really liked it. It's kind of like this sticker thing you put on your nails, right? You, you put it on your nails. And I had never seen it at the store before and I bought them and I wore them. And then they were gone, and I couldn't find them, and they didn't sell them at the store anymore. And I was like, God, I really want those. Can you, can you make those, or can you make those be there for me? I, I want more of those. It's just something I wanted. You know, you can ask God for things, even though just small things, whatever. It's just something I wanted. And I would go in there, and I'd never see it. And so I was like, I guess God's not going to do it, you know. When we pray and ask him for things, he'll just give you what he wants to give you, right? Sometimes he will give it to you. You just have to wait. Or he will show you. You just have to wait. There's things I've prayed and asked him about, and he didn't show me for a long time, and then he did. It's just his will, what he wants to do. You know, when I was in there, <laughs> the last time I was in there, they were there. It was there. It was right near the I Am jewelry. And
and it was him. I'm going to show you what's on it. Okay? It's him doing it. The crescent moon. This is what I wanted. I, I didn't... These weren't the ones I had worn before, though. This is something new from in the store. The crescent moon. What does God show me? I'm like the crescent moon. Because it's like the sickle, right? I, I help him reap harvest. And there's a star on there. The 555 thing. The star. I'm going to show you another one. What is this called? Peppermint. Peppermint Marvel. What does God tell me to use? Use peppermint. What does that mean? It's similar to hyssop in the Bible. It means purity. Use that. Here's snow, red and white, candy cane. The candy cane. And then this one was there too. The white heart. My beloved is like a heart. Remember the white heart? That is God. No one will see that. Do you see? It's hidden. It's him. And people might think, oh, well, that's Christmassy. Is this Christmassy? I asked him for, <laughs> for these nail things. It was different colors. I mean, it was like red. And then I had like different sparkly ones. Then he put those ones there. You know what it was next to? SpongeBob. A SpongeBob thing. It was like SpongeBob brushes. And over the SpongeBob thing, there were these nail polishes and it said pop on it. It's him. It is him. I was like, pop was part of the word that was on the nail polish. And then underneath these, it's like this type of thing. It said blossom, which he would show me. I'm like blossoming. It's him. You see, it's very hidden, but it's him. What does he show me? He shows me SpongeBob. You would think he wouldn't do that. He does. Be happy like SpongeBob. What was on it? Bubbles. It was all these bubbles. And there were things. It was like SpongeBob and jellyfish on it, which means submit to me. It means surrendering. What's up with SpongeBob? Why does God use SpongeBob? What Bob is Robert. The name Robert, what does it mean? Bright fame. What did God show me? I'm famous in the spirit. If you're God's child, you're famous in the spirit. And you're bright. It also means shining, though. You know, after God showed this to me, I'm going to show tell you guys something. You know that girl that I was showing you? She's the same girl that showed that bed that said peace, joy, love on it. I was watching her see in, in one of her new vlogs to see if God put anything in there. Guess what she was watching? SpongeBob. Watching SpongeBob. And she paused it and it was like two, two, two. It said two, two, two. It said two, 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 one. But I mean, two, two, two was there. It's the number God likes to speak to me through. And it was this scene of him. And he had this plate and he was washing it with this red cloth. God's like, I made you clean. What is SpongeBob? He's a sponge. You wash it with, wash stuff with, you would. It was like a red cloth. He's trying to show me, I made you clean. You're shining. You're white as snow. Be happy like SpongeBob. And then Patrick, in that display, was there too. The starfish. Five. You're under grace and mercy. Five. What does the starfish mean? Infinite divine love. It's in there. Just hidden. I know people will think that's nuts, but it's him. It's him. You know, 
I was kind of wondering, I was like, five, what's up with five? Why is it five? And I was looking online and uh, something popped up there and it was like, five, um, well, Jesus Christ, where was he wounded? In his hands and his feet and on his forehead, on his head with the, the crown of thorns. He was also whipped, but if you think about it, the head, the feet and the hands, five 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 places on his body minus the whipping but do you see what i'm saying i think that's why and i was like that's cool it's cool he showed me that now when jesus christ was on the cross he wasn't like in the starfish like you know because the starfish has the legs open his legs were like tied together to be on the cross right but he was still wounded in two of his feet two of his hands with his hands it wasn't in the palm it was in the wrist because he wouldn't be able to be held up just in the palm but and then the crown of thorns five he hides these things abraham lincoln child of faith it's him See, he wants to show you his glory. It, it takes time to learn from, like, to, to learn how he speaks. But if you don't know how he speaks, seek him, read the Bible, ask him to show you. He'll help you learn. And he'll show you his glory. Did you guys see that? You know, the thing with the girl and she's being like, she's going to be whipped and he takes it for her one of the things like the first thing he showed me and that I knew it was him that also happened in that one he was she it wasn't the whipping but she was going to be punished and he went right in front of her you know the one where he said I made you with my own hand and and it's hidden. It's, I mean, it, you would think it's like, oh, a Christian thing. It's hidden in there. Because people really wouldn't associate the man with Jesus. You see, it's hidden. He creates it, creates part of it. It was the same one where he said, oh, no, he loves you very much. Everything you do for him, he puts in a box. When I thought he didn't love me anymore, it is him. So, yes, we're in war Yes, we're warriors. God will make you into a great warrior. If you're his child. And it glorifies him. But he also wants you to have joy. He also wants to show you his glory. Have joy over him. And how he loves you. Learn how to hear from him. Understand how the devil speaks. So you can do your calling. So you can excel in your walk. And let God lead you. And grow in joy and peace. Resting in his righteousness. Alright, love you guys. Bye.